segment where I do something really, really original, so to speak. This is that segment of Spot the Liberal, of course, where I show you that even a smart guy like me can do really dumb things. Case in point, you may recognize this one. Now, now give me a second. Now. <laughs> give me a second. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now, now, you, you guys are aware of. You guys are aware of the cinnamon challenge. Am I right or am I right? Okay. <laughs> oh, God, this is gonna be. This is gonna be pretty bad. <laughs> you know how all these Democrats do really stupid things, right? With their time, like they, they waste their lives doing challenges on YouTube. Well, I'm going to prove to you that every single one of these challenges... <laughs> a complete fucking waste of time. Man, you you already know, right? Okay. Let's eat. <laughs> people, people are you. And by the way, you can do this if you want, but it's only gonna get you a lifetime's worth of stupidity. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull out for Mm-hmm. I just ate a whole spoonful of cinnamon. That's right, people. 
I am the first person in the 14 year history of YouTube to have succeeded at the cinnamon challenge. <laughs> oh god. I can't man. So you people you people have been doing it wrong the whole time. You're not supposed to put a whole spoonful in your mouth. You're supposed to put a half a spoonful. Big goddamn difference, isn't it? You stupid, retarded fucks. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very, very eclectic speak for you today. This man is apparently the smartest man in the world because, unlike almost every one of you, he actually listens to God. I don't know if you recognize this guy, I don't know if you've even heard of him or not, but he has social media accounts all over the web, spreading his wisdom and goodwill to people, while speaking the God's honest truth as only he can. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the man, the myth, the legend. Ladies and gentlemen, every millennial liberal's worst nightmare, Kevin the Skull Anderson. Let's give him a hand now. Come on. Let's give him a hand. Because good Lord knows that we need more people like him in our world. Thank you. Please be seated and watch this video until the end. Thank you. I'm the living baby in the bed. A pay of the season and in the season who put on time and timely. Don't name him to the good fuck me of maybe earning it, including Kate being a dad, who is up in the lack of battle. Who is up in the lack of battle? Who is up in the lack I thought he put a hand in the 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 hand in I retired in the zombie building in 15 years. Feels like I'm dumb enough to believe in the bullshit of the zombie rain. Because I won't go out to the way and get myself next to goddamn job for the first time in my life. I am every person's every parent's biggest mistake. And all the ones who easily been presented and came to us together. There's a thing to Captain! What is that? Well, I'll tell you what you are. You're a biased goddamn millennial who votes liberal, and you are the problem. And if you don't like that, you can suck Jacob a rough child's dick all day long and get fucked by him. Because personally, I don't give a shit. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all around the world, it's the Great Big Pisser Parade!
Jesus Christ, the United Nations was created to become the housing for the Illuminati Great Conspiracy. <coughs> no! <laughs> Dr. Abi Dumas. So I can go jump jump. You got your masters and bullshit. Dead for almost a century and a 
half. At least he was honest about everything that he said, unlike you. Who, by the way, was best for some encyclopedia of every lie that has ever been spoken by a politician throughout the not be the Antichrist, but you're one of over 7.6 million of them. And you're probably the dumbest of them all. Of the 7.5 million Antichrists that are turning this world into a herd of pigs, Joseph Gerbil style, Barry Sotoro are the dumbest of them all. So you don't get to talk about John McCain. You're not even in the same league as he was. Did you fight for your nation? No. You did fight for your nation. You fucked it up the ass. Just like Kelby did my sister when she married her. Three school weeks before she was to graduate from high school. You're as bad as he is. Hell, you're even worse. The fact that you became president of the United States by the fucking sheer suicidal stupidity of nearly 70 million people makes you infinitely much worse than Kelby. You're a hundred times the bastion shit stain that Kelby was. You're a thousand times worse than he was. And when you die, I swear on my father's grave, and I'm not going to tell you where it is, Know. Or at least you think you know, but you don't actually know because you're not God. I am as I allow him to live in me, and so is every other God fearing person on the planet who allows God to live through them. You? You? <laughs>
did to finally see you arrested and charged with the highest of high treasons, holding the highest office in the land, and using it as an excuse to forward a notified ISIS agenda the likes of which not even Hitler himself could even try to manage, much less manage on his own. You're gonna look so unbelievably stupid. You're gonna look so remarkably, unfathomably ignorant that Satan himself will look at you and say, I've looked stupid before, but I've never looked that stupid. Yes, you are. Very Barack Obama Sotoro. The worst excuse of a human being since Andrew Jackass Jackson. Do you know how bad a person has to be to fit that description? By the way, I don't disrespect you. I don't even hate you. But I don't like you either. But I do have the common decency of an actual human being unlike yourself to respect you for what you are. But let it be known, the moment you gave away your statement on a man who, quite frankly, even though he might have been a traitor in Vietnam, and he probably was, so I'm not going to rule that out, even though you gave a statement on him, he is everything you wish you could have been, but never were, because you wanted to push a Rothschild, Rockefeller, Warburg, Weiss help Oculus agenda. For what reason? For what reason? What was it for? Absolutely.